welcome folks. In this video, we are going to talk about inserting an image. So the first step is we're going to navigate to our Lesson 9 folder. So I am going to click on Open down here. And then I have it saved on my desktop, Lesson 9. And we are to open contactus.html. So that's this file here. And there we go. Step two says to insert the cursor at the beginning of the first paragraph underneath the heading association management. So we, if we go down here, here's the first paragraph. Sometimes you have to click a few times in order to get in there. There, let me in. And now we're in front of the word Sarah. Step three says choose window assets to display the assets panel. So I have the panel already listed up here. And then here are my assets down here. Now it's able to gather these based on our root folder. So our root folder has a file called images and it captured that and it sees the list of images in that folder. And so we're going to find the one that says Elaine. Once we've located the file and we click on it, we see a preview up here. And we note that the dimensions are 150 by 150. Now at the bottom of the panel here is this insert button, so we're going to go ahead and click it. And it inserts the image in front of where our cursor was. Now we want to add alt text to any images on our website in the event we have someone using a screen reader. So it's in this alt text we're going to type Elaine. Meridian Green Start President and CEO. So there we go. And again, alt text is important because, because it provides metadata for images in the event the image doesn't load or someone's using a screen reader due to a visual disability. And then we can go ahead and click Save. Now I know what you're thinking. It's not the best, right? And it, the way that it's wrapping, it's right up against the word here. So now let's look at adjusting image positions with CSS classes. So in the CSS designer, first we need to see where we're at. We're going to go to mindgreenstyles.css. That's our CSS final file for this website. We're going to click on global because we want it to apply to all style sheets, even those that have different widths in screen. And then we're going to go down here with our selectors. We're going to find the dot content space dot profile selector. There we see it there. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then it shows us how that property is set up currently. Now we're going to add a new selector. So to do that we're going to click on this plus sign here, add selector. And it auto populates guessing what it want, what it thinks we want to style, but that's not true in this case. We're going to rename this selector as .flt underscore rgt, which is going to be what we're going to use for float right. And then we're going to hit enter. And it automatically takes us down to where we see that we can assign a property. And here we're going to put float and then write. And then hit enter, and then we're going to type margin dash left, tab over, and we're going to put 10 pixels to add a margin around it and hit enter. And we've applied that in the property inspector. Now, of course, you're thinking, great, we did that, but nothing happened. Well, we need to assign that selector to the image. So if we go ahead and click on the image here, we see the properties pane down here, and where it says class right now, it's assigned to profile. So we're going to hit that drop down menu and select the float right that we created, and voila, it has floated to the right, and then it also has that 10 pixel margin, so now there's some nice gap between the picture and the text. And that's, then that's it for inserting an image and adjusting the image position with CSS in Dreamweaver CC. Remember to like this video or subscribe to see future videos. And next we will be talking about working with the insert panel and using the insert menu.
See you next time.